When I was younger, I used to have dreams where I was flying. That feeling of just hurling myself through the air in my dreams, and it was amazing. And then I became a drone enthusiast, and I started flying drones in FPV. So I've always been interested in engineering from the time I was a child, and it was kind of a natural progression moving from some of the available engineering things into drones, which are basically flying robots. Engineering is just such a tie with the physical world and how the world functions. And for me, it's a way of understanding how things work, how the world works, how things function. I just have this desire to understand like what makes things tick, and that's kind of engineering at its core. The center of my life in the hobby has been my garage. It's just a little corner of the garage with some test setup that I built myself. One of the biggest things that drives me and the reason why I enjoy what I do is because you get to go through this process of having an idea, moving that idea into reality and then seeing a physical representation of your idea in front of you. For creatives, for people who do things creatively, there's nothing more pleasing than seeing an idea that you've had become reality. And that's something that I will come back to over and over and over again. I take a concept from my brain, I put it down in two dimensions, and then from two dimensions, I move into three dimensions. And then from a three-dimensional drawing, we can move into a physical object by use of a CNC machine. The interesting thing that my little corner of the universe provides is that I have an intimate understanding as a pilot, as a engineer who deals with drone technology on a regular basis. A lot of the commercially available products are designed by guys who many of them are not pilots themselves. So what I provide is the personal knowledge of how all this works and a personal level of expertise that goes into designing a product that is designed for pilots first, for people who actually are using this stuff on a day-to-day -day basis. I had a relationship with GetFPV based out of Sarasota, and I was able to develop a lot of commercial products for them, uh, drone frames, and I was also able to work with some awesome pilots. I worked with Alex FPV, who's a DRL uh, drone racing pilot on the Drone Racing League on ESPN. I've worked with Johnny FPV, who is a, a big cinematic uh, FPV pilot, and I've worked with Joshua Bardwell, who is a big name in, in the FPV hobby. The biggest thing for me is I would like to go back to what I've done with Mini Quad Test Bench and work with the School of Engineering here at Southern to allow students to kind of reap some of the benefits of real world testing, real world development, like some of their engineering skills in a practical way that also has an impact on a real industry. I don't really want to turn this into a full time job. I never want to make this, you know, a business or something that I'm relying on income for. I'm involved in this because I love it. I used to have dreams where I was flying. And since I've flown drones in FPV, I have never had that dream again because I get to do that like pretty much anytime I want. It's, it's a wild thing to put your goggles on and be flying at 90 miles an hour through gaps that are two feet wide. It's just, it blows your mind. My name is Ryan Harrell and I'm a data analyst by trade, but engineering flight is my passion. <laughs>